Hey guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. Today we're showing you our DIY cat ears with your own hair. Um, we did this on our cute daughter clear back in 2008 when we first started blogging, but we had used pipe cleaner in her hair. Well, today we're going to show you this fun new way uh, to create these cat ears. So to begin with, you're going to part the hair straight down the center back to the crown of the head and then you're going to part out another section or make another part rather um, here near the temple and down from the crown. So it's kind of a long rectangular section. I find having water to mist the hair is always helpful and um, if you prefer you can use product in the hair um, or hairspray and I use that as well later on in the video but you are going to get that area smoothed out and add an elastic and you want to use actually a ponytail holder that's thicker because that's going to help kind of make the base for um, these ears so you're going to wrap that around as many times as possible so it's nice and tight and then the last time through you're not going to pull the ponytail all the way through you're going to make it so it's just a little bit of a loop Okay, so once you have that loop, you're going to comb through it so the hair below the loop is smooth. Uh, spray it with more water or hairspray if you want. I just did that to help cut down on the flyaways as well as help me um, form the hair around that loop a little easier. So you can do this a couple different ways. You can twist the hair that's below the elastic or you can just simply wrap it. Uh, depending on the length of hair you're working with, it's also going to determine how these um, turn out, how thick they are at the bottom versus the top. And so you kind of want to get a base so it is a little thicker down at the bottom. So I wrapped it first and then I sort of twisted it. I've done it also twisting it first and uh, wrapping it so the hair is more flat uh, as I go. You just kind of have to play with it a little bit. Once you are running out of hair, you're going to want to make sure you're kind of winding your way back down or wrapping back down the cat ear so that you've got um, a place to hide those ends underneath it all. Uh, I used small bobby pins for this. Big ones would have stuck out past the uh, thickness of this cat ear, so the small ones are best for that. Okay, so once your bobby pins are in place, I use hairspray to make sure that that's not going to come undone. Now that little part of the loop that comes out, you can pull on that to make it pointier if you want. Uh, these actually, I guess, could be um, horns if you wanted to do a devil costume. We're not so much into that kind of stuff. We're sticking with the cute cat ears for this. Uh, so, I mean, you can spray paint your hair, do whatever as well for either um, a cat or the devil costume but hairspray is great for this. Okay, so once you've got the one on the left looking like you want it, move on to the right side, and we're just gonna speed this up, but we'll show you the whole process here. So you'll make the same high ponytail on the right side, wrap that elastic or ponytail holder around until it's really nice and tight and make that loop with the hair, and then you're gonna to start to wrap it. Um, depending on what length and texture of hair you're working with, will kinda of determine if uh, you need to wrap it or twist it to get things to look right. If you're wanting it nice and smooth, make sure you're wrapping the hair so that it's flat. Also, be sure to hang on to that little loop as you're wrapping so that it doesn't get completely covered up. You'll want the, the end of it sticking out of the top and uh, also it gives it a bit of stability as you're wrapping if you hold on to it. So again, as you're nearing the end of the hair to wrap, work your way back down towards the base of the ear so that you can hide those underneath. And as you can see, I'm pulling on that little loop to kind of give it a pointed end out of the top. Add those small little bobby pins to hold things in place there at the base.
okay if you need to you can comb around it to kind of smooth things out a little bit add a little bit of hairspray I think she's trying to be a cat and licking her lips I'm not sure what she's doing there it's silly girl but either way you can pull on that little loop to make it a little pointier as you can see I'm doing here and spray these things to death so they stay in place and that's it so thank you for watching we hope you like this she had a whole lot of fun as you can see by her silly pictures here but uh, perfect for an easy Halloween costume that doesn't require much more than a little bit of eyeliner for the makeup and a black shirt. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you next time. Thanks!